champion number three of cabinet of Miss Richie. You can look at her, she's so beautiful. I am so pleased to be with you. I am delighted to tell you the truth. This is Miss Ayong Dido Lilian. So can you tell us about yourself? In fact, you're beautiful more than me. I'm so to tell us. Okay, hello, hello. I'm Lilian Zibo Ayong. I'm candidate number three of the Miss Richia competition Cameroon. And I'm so happy to be one of the candidates of this great competition because it is the first edition uh, ever here in Cameroon. There has never been a competition uh, concerning the wheelchair ladies. So this is the first edition and I am blessed to be one of the candidates of Miss Wheelchair Competition Cameroon. Wow, 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 wow. You can listen to her voice. Her voice is so mwah. And you just hear she says she's one of the participants and she's the number three candidate. And now like this, she's going to tell us all about her project. They asked them to write a project. Miss Lilian Zibo, can you tell us how your project, what is your project, how you want the world to know your project? Tell us, baby. Hello once again. This the, the qualification of this of this round is based on the, the, the potential of your project, how weighty your project is. And I wrote a project, and the, the, the title of the project is uh, Bringing Out the Potentials in Wheelchair Ladies Through Vocational Training. So I chose that particular project because I've realized that so many wheelchair ladies are not educated, they are not going to school. So giving them a kind of vocational training on designing, on fashion, will give them a, a, a weight in the society, will make them to be entrepreneurs, We make them to be independent, We make them to be confident of themselves. They will not depend on their families. And, and, and in fact, it will even reduce the, the, the financial load of the family. Because if I can take care of my financial needs, and, and if I have a child, you know, my family will not be able to free from that body and I'll be able to take care of myself. Wow, 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 viewers, just permit me to cut her short for that. So can you tell us how are you going to empower this uh, uh, wheelchair lady that, your fellow wheelchair lady that are sitting on top of the wheelchair, how are you going to empower them? Tell us, tell the viewers. By the time this project is materialized, okay. I am going to reach as far as, as possible. I want to reach out to so many wheelchairs as possible, uh, wheelchair ladies as possible, because I want to get them trained in, in designing using the Ankara, designing purse, designing shoes, designing earrings, designing necklaces, bangles, using the Ankara fabric, because that one is so trendy nowadays. Everybody wants to be identified with the Ankara fabric, so I choose that one because the demand is very high. Everybody is is watching for it, and that will get them established for 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 a lifetime. Wow, 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 thank you. You're very talented and God will bless you. Don't bother. I wish you the happy miss. Long life. Thank, hey, you. Hey, hey. thank you, viewers. Don't go off. Just stay tuned. Keep watching for the next lady that we, we come and tell us what is her project all about. Cheers. We are coming back. Don't go.